Okay, installing crankshaft lesson on this LQ4. Probably be the same for most Gen 3 LS blocks. 5.3, 4.8, 5.7, whatever. Probably the same. Uh, so, installation process. Apply lots, well, apply a moderate amount of assembly lube to uh, the bearing services on the block and the main caps. Uh, all five, obviously. Um, or you can even put it on the crank journals. Doesn't matter as long as there's some sort of lubrication there. Apply that liberally. Um, Make sure you have the bearings in correctly, uh, flush with the bottom of the cap and whatnot, and uh, make sure that's good to go. And then set your crank on there gently, as carefully as possible, making sure everything is where it needs to be. And then you can put the caps on. Uh, obviously, I guess if you took it apart, you can you know, put it back together. So, torquing sequence. Start with the middle bolts. Uh, these are a 13 millimeter in the middle here, 15 millimeter on the outer bolts, and 10 for the side bolts. So, start with the middle bolts, or the inner bolts, whatever you want to say. The inner bolts here. Uh, hand tighten them down. Hand tighten all the bolts first. To make sure everything's hand tight down. Uh, everything's lined up. So once you go to torque down your bolts, you don't uh, cross thread or uh, force something onto another thing. Yes. So okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a sequence for torquing down main cap bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, two for the outside bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the sequence. Specifications for the bolts, uh, inner bolts. Uh, torque them down to 15 foot-pounds and then after you torque these down to 15 foot-pounds go ahead and um, do it 80 degrees after the, after the 15 foot-pounds so it's 15 foot-pounds torqued and then 80 degrees additional to the 15 foot-pounds so 15 foot-pounds 80 degrees. And for the outside bolts, again, it's 15 foot pounds, but uh, for the earlier models, earlier Gen 3s, it's uh, I believe it's 50 degrees. Um, later Gen 3s are 51, so one degree, not a big difference. Its specification is plus or minus three degrees anyway, so. Just make sure it's 50 or 51 degrees you have these torqued down or after the 15 foot pounds uh, go an additional 50 or 51 degrees. The side bolts are just torqued to 19 foot pounds. There's no degree reading after that. Uh, so yeah, that is the sequence and specifications for Gen 3 LS motors. Additional info. Make sure to get at least the main, or at least 20 of the 30 main cap bolts. Um, these are the important ones here. Side bolts are not a big deal um, because they are not torqued to yield. These bolts, however, they are. Um, so it's good practice to, as soon as you, it's kind of like the head bolts, as soon as you, uh, Remove the pressure off the threads. They have stretched to 
whatever they stretch to so it's uh they won't torque down um how they should you can reuse them it's not a you know huge issue but since it's already out you can go ahead and uh get new ones if you like I chose two just because I have good luck. So if I didn't, I would have something let go, and that would be me spending hundreds of bu hundreds of bucks on getting new stuff instead of and it was maybe about all said and done for bolts, 160 bucks from GM dealership for 20 bolts. So yeah, you want to make sure you get the 10 inner bolts and 10 outer bolts. If you want to do the side bolts, there's some of those too, obviously, but I didn't. I just put some silicone on them, so it should hold. Hopefully they do anyway. So, yeah, that is about it. So, yeah. Okay, Stay cool. tuned from watching me explain myself on the 6.0. Thank you. If not, Oh, whatever. Uh, this is an 89 Trans Am GTA. I know it's an absolute terrible mess in here. Whatever. I know where my stuff's at. Uh, it was a L98 car, uh, 5.7, 350 TPI. Uh, 700 R4 automatic. Obviously, it was repainted at some point. It was originally the Sterling, Sterling Gray, or not, sorry, Gunmetal Gray, and uh, somebody had it repainted pearl white down the road. So there we got my uh, T56 I'm putting in. Uh, there's the old tranny. She's been sitting here a while. The, the old 350 blew a head gasket. So I said, hey, might as well update the powertrain. Why not? Tearing the inside out because a couple reasons. I have to cut holes for the shifter um, and also the clutch pedal. And obviously another reason is uh, the gaping rust holes I have on the floorboards. So my best interest to get them uh, them things fixed before I add a much more powerful engine to this thing and twist the chassis because F-bodies are very well known for their sturdy chassis. Right. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the plan with it. Getting that 6.0 in there. Uh, transmission. And for now, I just want the damn thing to run. It's been sitting in here for probably two years now. So, right now I'm stuck driving my old truck. That is not as fun. But hey, it gets me around. Doesn't look as good. Well, whatever. So, thanks for watching. I will do updates as I progress, which I don't know how, can't tell you how many more progressions I will make. I get fairly distracted easily on stuff. Um, so yeah, scatterbrain. Got my pistons over there soaking in some pine sole. If you could smell through the camera, it smells delicious. Alright, bye.